Hey everyone, so today I've got an awesome tip for you or a technique that you should really try out sometime and that is an awesome way how to set any liquid concealer. Now this technique will not only lock that concealer in place, it's going to make it last all day and it also enhances the concealer. It's going to completely erase any under eye darkness plus it is also going to brighten and highlight and just lift that area magically. Honestly guys, I swear by this method when I really need my makeup to last a really long time. So I hope you guys will try out this technique. Let's get started with the video. So for this method, you're going to need a liquid concealer of your choice and a setting powder. I'm using actually a drugstore concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind, which is my favorite drugstore concealer. And first you're gonna go ahead and of course apply the concealer wherever you feel it's needed. So I get sort of dark under eye circles and I just apply it straight to that area with a brush. Now it looks like I'm applying quite a lot of concealer, but I am gonna be blending a lot of this out and that also kind of just removes some of the product, so you'll see that. So then I'm using a damp makeup sponge. This is the NYX sponge, which is really, really, really good. I really love this sponge. And I'm blending out the concealer and using this damp sponge is really going to help with the blending. And it also does remove the excess concealer, so it really only leaves the concealer that you need for concealing. So I'm also applying some concealer here on my chin. Now I don't really have major breakouts there. I had a little bit of pigmentation, so I just added that there. And now I'm going to pick up a lot of powder with the damp sponge. So I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, basically this powder is colorless. Now if you do have really dark skin, you wanna use something that's a little bit more to your skin tone because otherwise it can look ashy. But basically I apply just a ton of that powder on top, kind of like the baking method, I guess. So um, I'm going to just let that powder sit on there. The baking is really going to help set the concealer and it's going to make that concealer really last all day. So while that powder is working and baking basically, um, you can just do whatever else you want to do on your face. I'm applying some liquid lipstick. I think this is one of the lip laundries by NYX. So basically I'm just letting the powder do its job and really helping to set the concealer. And then after a few minutes, you wanna take a fan brush. I mean, I like to do this with a fan brush. You can use something else if you want. And I'm just going to dust off the remaining powder that hasn't been absorbed. Now you can see how this kind of does brighten because it does leave a little bit of the powder behind um, since there is quite a lot of it. So it does leave a lighter you know, sheen to my skin. But since my skin is fair, this works. But if this powder is too light for you, you wanna use a powder that's maybe like one or two or three shades lighter than your skin tone. So if you have dark skin, you know, don't use like a white powder, maybe use something that's a little bit more dark. And if there's any more powder left over, like sometimes the fan brush doesn't really get enough powder off. I like to use sort of a more denser brush. This is actually a brush by Hakuhodo. And it's just great for removing like any of the excess powder that kind of has stayed behind because I can add a little bit more pressure with this brush. And then after that, I like to apply blush or bronzer, highlighter, whatever after that because that whole area has kind of, you know, brightened and lightened it a bit. So it does look a bit pale. So this is what it looks like with the final look. I've got just some blush on. And this concealer really will last all day long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel right now. And there's gonna be two more videos listed below that you can check out. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.